Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you quickly about this amazing 1985 Mercedes W123 300D and all the work that I'm doing to it right now and some of the stuff that I've done to it. And also, you're gonna find out how to make your uh, easy, how to easily make a glow plug reamer uh, for these engines at home. Uh, and it's pretty amazing, guys. So I hope you like the video and hope you appreciate everything. And yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these talk not about these but just this particular w123 today so stay tuned all right guys let's go over this car real quick uh, I'll explain to you what's been done to it so far and what's the progress on it and uh, of course there's gonna be more videos and probably detailed videos of repairs that I've done to it so far uh, but I just didn't have time to upload everything. So here we go. This is a 1985 Mercedes 300D. Uh, it's going to be my dad's gift. And I'm preparing this car uh, for shipping. I also apologize if there are any jet noises. Uh, there are a lot of jets flying around here. So um, anyways, let's go back to this amazing legendary car. It's a W123. And... Um, uh, the reason why I have the hood open is because uh, I've been doing so much work to this engine um, and uh, as of right now uh, here's what I've done to the engine I replaced front crankshaft seal, uh, cooling system, new water pump, new thermostat, gaskets uh, uh, recently I, I just replaced uh, the oil filter housing uh, gasket and uh, cleaned up the oil filter housing itself so it's nice and clean not oily anymore um, then also replaced all these uh, vacuum lines they're actually brand new okay these vacuum lines um, they're actually a lot of them because it's a 1985 model so there are a lot of them and um, you know also replaced uh, these vacuum hoses right here um, that go to the a vacuum transducer um, and uh, all of the old ones were actually cracked and they were pretty bad in really bad shape never been replaced and as you can see obviously you know I did the uh, clean the valve cover and replaced the valve cover gasket and did the valve adjustment uh, and stuff like that and also actually took this guy out uh, this is the uh, firewall pivot uh, mount this is all nice and clean um, also lubricated all the linkages and cleaned them up nicely and new belts obviously uh, vacuum pump gasket uh, was also replaced a um, bunch of things guys and as of right now uh, what I'm working on is uh, uh, here's what I'm working on as you can see the air cleaner is out uh, and my starter motor is out actually because I actually uh, have a, a problem with the starter motor and uh, uh, I'll tell you actually I'll tell you and I'll talk about it in the next video but uh, yeah the starter motor is out I need to replace the starter motor and uh, the reason why I started on this side is because I'll be taking the turbo out and I'll be rebuilding the turbo on it the front shaft on it has some play and uh, when you drive this car around uh, instead of a normal regular turbo spool or like whistle uh, this thing actually makes really weird noises uh, it's like almost like screeching noises it's like really weird uh, so I'll have to pull and take this thing apart and inspect it and rebuild it there. There actually uh, there's rebuild kits for it and uh, you know um, coolant tank all that stuff was done and also just recently replaced all five glow plugs so it's got brand new uh, glow plugs uh, in this baby okay all of them um, okay uh, and also uh, what I did is I had to actually, once I took the glow plugs out, I had to ream out the glow plug holes uh, because there were actually, there was a lot of carbon buildup in them. And this is what you're supposed to do when you, uh, before you install new glow plugs on these diesels. OM616, OM615, OM617, and even other engines like OM606 and uh, OM603 and OM602, blah, 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 you know. Because there is carbon buildup and if you don't clean the carbon buildup, here's what can happen is your engine will still struggle to start when it's cold even though you installed new glow plugs. That's why it's important to clean the clean out the glow plug uh, holes. And then another reason why it's a good idea to do that is because if you don't clean out your carbon buildup, 
uh, that carbon buildup is just gonna keep on building and building and then at the end it's possible when you try to remove the glow plugs uh, one or maybe a couple of them will try to break off or whatever if you're not careful so you really have to be careful with that and right now what I want to share with you is my special tool that I made at home here for literally nothing okay this looks a little weird um, but hopefully the camera focuses on this baby uh, I call everything baby that's funny uh, so I'll just set it aside and I, I just really want to show you what this thing looks like and how I made it so you guys can do the same thing uh, and this tool will this is basically a glow plug reamer this is a homemade tool okay this will work on uh, this engine uh, OM616 as well 615 it could work for uh, you know on other engines as well uh, yeah, so the only thing is that on some other diesel engines you might need to have uh, you know a smaller or maybe even bigger drill bit okay but it will be really easy to figure out for you once I tell you how this thing uh, how I did how I made this tool okay so here's your uh, homemade glow plug reamer uh, it's so simple to make it um, what you do is you buy a uh, quarter inch drill bit and then you cut it like almost in half and then uh, you grab a quarter inch size okay uh, six millimeter it's a six millimeter socket uh, and it's actually a six point okay six uh, it's a regular hex uh, a regular hex socket six millimeters uh, okay and it's not a 12 point and then literally what you do is I actually put a rag to make a tighter fit and you put a rag on this and then you literally just hammer these things together okay and um, depending on like how far you want it to go or not you might have to trim a little more you might have to cut off a little more of this uh, drill bit you know depending on like how tight the spaces are but with this tool I was able to get to pretty much everything okay uh, on this thing so I was able to get you know uh, this thing in there and then I literally just used a quarter inch ratchet to turn this thing okay and also before you do that make sure you put uh, some grease here on the on the on the splines on, the, on these uh, uh, you know grew in the, these grooves so that way when you remove the carbon it's it can actually you know catch that carbon so homemade glow plug reamer it works amazing picking up a bunch of carbon buildup from the glow plug holes and uh, yeah it was pretty simple I just used a quarter inch drill bit I cut it in half and then I'm, I have this six millimeter uh, socket and uh, uh, you know I just fit this drill bit in there and then I actually stuffed the rag but I'll have to figure something else out how to keep it in there pretty secure but as of right now it's very secure it's not going anywhere and it's picking up a bunch of carbon so and I'm ready to install new glow plugs as soon as I'm done with this uh, job um, of picking in a carbon buildup and uh, yeah we'll be ready to go and then um, I'm gonna try to start the engine really soon, see how she runs and everything. So, like I said, it's pretty simple to make this tool. Anybody can make it at home. <laughs> and uh, there you go, guys. You have another special tool that you can make for literally nothing, you know, and you can just use it normally. And then um, another tip that I can give you is if you want, I mean, this is this is really tight fit, you know. This is this is not really going anywhere. I can I cannot take it out. But uh, if you really want to, you can also put some JB weld inside, and then you can hammer these pieces together and let JB weld cure, and then this thing will never ever come out again. That's why you have, I have this rag over here, so I made a tighter fit, you know, with this thing, and then that way I can literally just turn this thing. It's it's amazing, guys. Okay, uh, quarter inch. Um, uh, you know drill bit and it, it it does wonders I'm gonna tell you okay it works amazing okay so here's what else I've been doing on it um, uh, as of right now uh, I have this side jacked up 
and uh, I was cleaning a lot of oil leaks and sludge inside and what I also did is I replaced right there as you can see I replaced uh, the idler arm the idler arm was bad and I will be actually replacing the rest of the steering uh, system components uh, because some of them have play and you know they're, they're original they're, they've never been replaced so I'll take care of that and uh, right now I'm just waiting on the starter uh, to come in um, and then yeah I mean what else I'm doing as you can see my windshield right here is taped up because I'm uh, chasing water leaks uh, guys really important thing is you need to watch out for water leaks um, uh, you know uh, as soon as it rains or whatever make sure you lift the carpets up and you check check for water leaks so make sure to lift the carpets up very often on these W123s, W126s and other cars, okay? And, uh, you know, don't pay attention to this. I'm just covering it up right now so it has a minimal, uh, you know, sun exposure. Um, but as of right now, uh, this panel was removed. Okay, I removed this panel because I was chasing water leaks. It's still some, there's still some water leaks, but they're coming mainly from the stop area. And after it rains a lot, it actually starts uh, going this way, and it starts accumulating right here, and then eventually it starts going all the way there. So that's really bad. Okay, you got to make sure you check your carpets very often. I mean, it's it's really really important. I'm actually actually I'm really sorry for this mess because, like I said, this is um, I'm working on it like as much as I can. I'm doing so much work. To this car right now because I want to finish it up and this is covered up because I didn't want this beautiful steering wheel to get uh, you know sun fade in a day or whatever <laughs> of me having this like that but um, yeah the water would just accumulate here and then it would just travel all the way back and it's really bad okay so you got to make sure that there are a lot of uh, things that can cause that you know your windshield even though it has a good seal you still have to check it you, you might have some water leaks okay it's really bad this is the main issue this is why the floors rust out and everything you know on these beautiful amazing cars because you have to you, you cannot be lazy you got to check this these things okay so i have it taped up right now because I'm actually trying to isolate, you know, and see where exactly this, if this leak is not going to come back. So right now, if it rains again and this is taped up and I don't have any water inside, I will know that the leak is for sure caused by like some bad seal right here or something. And I already checked the sunroof drains. That was the first thing I checked. The sunroof drain uh, drains were all good. And then I checked these right here to make sure they're not rusted out. And they're actually good, these drains. Sometimes they rust out. So before putting everything back here, I'm actually going to do some preservation. I'm gonna put some fluid film here and all this stuff uh, so uh, yeah guys make sure you check all that stuff and also I don't know if I filmed but I fixed this mirror it moves nice and easy right now uh, it was so stiff before so uh, if you go to your car and this mirror is really frozen don't uh, try to turn it okay if you force it too hard the mechanism inside is gonna break there's, there's a rivet in there so you'll have more work to do to repair it later so if it doesn't move easily stop Take it all apart, clean it, and lubricate it, and it's gonna work nicely again, okay? Uh, now, uh, in the rear, there's more parts. Obviously, there's that panel, beautiful panel right here. And, um, you know, it has these clips right here. So I'll show you really quick how you take it off. So you take the visors out, um, you take, uh, you know, the, the, the mirror, the, the rear view mirror out, and you take this lamp out. And when you remove all these screws in this area, then uh, you have these clips. So if you look at this car, I'll show you really quick. If you look here, these clips actually go in there, right in here. So you would have to, to pull this panel off. After you remove all the bolts, you have to actually slide it carefully towards the front windshield. That's how you remove this panel, okay? Slide it carefully towards the windshield and you're gonna be good. And then there's another strip. Uh, there's a chrome strip right here that goes on the sunroof that you have to take off, uh, which I did. And it's right here, this guy, okay? So, yeah, uh, I've been doing so much work on this car, guys. And I just wanted to show you some really nice carpets that I bought for my dad. Um, right here i'm really happy and excited about these floor mats they're dark blue and they're gonna match the interior really nicely at the end once i'm done with all this stuff as of right now it's just a mess uh, because like i said doing so much work to this car also what i've done is i've removed so far i've removed three door panels this and those two uh, and i lubricated the everything inside 
a lubricated uh, window regulators, uh, lubricated the window tracks, the locks, uh, lubricated uh, literally everything. Uh, and then uh, also the door stop. The door stop was uh, lubricated, okay. It moves nice and good right now. I had to, uh, again, uh, unbolt it and take it out and then clean it and lubricate it. And then also what I did is I pulled this seal out and checked for rust. There was a little bit of rust here, just a really tiny, tiny bit. You probably won't be able to see, but I fixed it all up. I scraped the rust off, put a rust dissolver uh, until it was bare metal, and then I put primer on, uh, just with like a sponge. Uh, dipped the primer on it, weighed it, and then put paint on, let it dry, and then at the end, before reattaching the seal, I actually painted everything, covered everything in fluid film. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, this thing is so preserved, and also preserved everything on the inside, okay? Uh, the bottom of the doors were all preserved in fluid film and grease, and a bunch of grease on the inside as well for preservation, and yeah, I mean, I've, I've been doing so much work to this car. Um, and then what else I want to say? Uh, I'm still waiting uh, to do the same on this door, but I'm waiting on the door stop because the door stop is bad on this side. So I'm waiting on the door stop. Okay, and then I'll also do the same thing with uh, with this. Also, be very careful when removing the door panels. Uh, I took my time. I was really careful with everything, especially if it's cold. Be very careful when removing these. Don't damage anything. Don't break anything. Okay, be really slow, especially when removing the front ones because they, the front uh, doors uh, have these pockets. Okay, and these pockets they don't just pull out. You actually have to once you undo all the clips and all these things, blah, 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 then you have to kind of uh, lift it up carefully. You put pressure on this and then you kind of lift it up carefully so you don't break this because th there's like a clip in here on just on this side and it goes into the groove. The same is on that side. So yeah, I took my time with this. Everything is amazing. No issues, nothing is broken and stuff like that. Um, yeah, guys, just uh, a lot of stuff, you know, um, but we gotta love these cars. They're amazing cars. Nobody makes them anymore. I also started scraping some. There was some rust right here. So I started scraping and then I put just some grease for right now so it doesn't keep uh, rusting. And I'll have to remove the both bumpers, front and rear, double check everything, make sure there's no rust and preserve everything. Um, you know, just a bunch of stuff, guys. Um, we gotta love and appreciate these cars. At the end, I'm gonna buy new bezels for it as well. Uh, you know, um, and also the hood pad. Also gotta replace this grill. It's dented a little bit right there. Uh, I mean, a lot. And then I've been cleaning the insides right here. This, uh, when I got the car, this used to look really horrible. These, this used to look so dirty and no, nobody really cared, you know. So, and then also have to do the diesel purge on it, uh, engine mounts. Also replace this uh, power steering return hose. The old one was really cracked and, uh, you know, not, not good. Uh, also, I will have, still have to do the uh, uh, power steering fluid flush. Uh, still have to do quite a bit of stuff. Still, still have to take out the, uh, you know, covers to get to the wiper assembly to lubricate that uh, as well. So, yeah. Um, a bunch of stuff. Still have to finish some of the suspension on it uh, and steering system and also got to do the drive shaft, uh, you know, center support, trans mount, flex discs. Uh, got to have to reseal the rear diff because somebody who, whoever did reseal it didn't do a good job. Uh, the rear diff is actually leaking a little bit. Um, but yeah, oh, one more thing I forgot if you remember uh, this trim uh, was all bad um, and it was actually bent right here and popped out so I, I installed this is a brand new uh, trim piece for the fender that I installed as well so this is looking much much better right now um, yeah and then uh, just that's that's basically the progress guys I mean I'm gonna keep you updated and stuff but uh, just wanted to share some things I mean I'm sorry I, I really try to upload as much as I can but it's just a lot of work and I don't have much time for uploading but I still have a lot of other videos that are coming up some maybe possibly some detailed videos so just stay tuned uh, all right and uh, don't forget to love your classic Mercedes don't listen to others and whatever others are telling you don't listen to your parents just love these classic Mercedes they're amazing cars and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep on loving and putting love to these cars, okay? 
Uh, this is uh, some of the suspension and how it looks right now. Uh, as you remember, we placed front, uh, a lot of front parts here. Uh, new control arms and bushings, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, I all preserved everything with grease. So this will never ever rust. This will never have any problems. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, check out my playlist about this W123 and what I've done. I've already done so much work on it. And uh, yeah, there's just uh, some more stuff. And also I'll be taking everything out. I'll be taking the intake and exhaust manifold, um, cleaning them up and painting them and place the exhaust manifold gasket, you know, turbo drain and all that stuff. So yeah. Uh, and as you can see, my battery is looking all nice and amazing, all preserved with grease and I repainted it uh, like two months ago and it's looking just uh, great, honestly. So um, yeah, and I just love the way this valve cover looks and all these parts um, that I replaced. Uh, so yeah, just, just pretty happy in general uh, how this car uh, is coming along. So I can't wait to finish it up and uh, ship it to my dad. Hopefully he loves it. And I know that my dad will love this car <laughs> because he already has a W126 420 SEL, an amazing legendary car. And this is going to be an addition, this is going to be a brother uh, to that other 420 SEL that he has. So it's going to be a great combination to have these classic Mercedes. Uh, yeah, that's how things are guys, just wanted to update you, uh, I don't know if it's going to be a long video or not, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for stopping by, uh, and I'll see you in the next one guys, thank you for all your support, and uh, there's going to be more classic Mercedes and other uh, cars uh, on the channel, so stay tuned, uh, more content to come, and I'll appreciate, also appreciate all your support. <clears throat> Thank you for all your help, uh, for all your comments and nice things that you're saying. And I'm also happy that you guys are the same way as I am. And uh, as you all know, we're all crazy about classic Benzes and other classic cars. Um, yeah, and didn't get any shots or any attention uh, to 190E. So here you go, there's 190E. There's the baby Benz.